it can be quite common to find holes in your roofing felt. If you go up in a loft and you look at your felt, sometimes you can find holes in it in certain places. If you do find an hole, it's a good idea to patch it up before any water actually leaks into the loft. If the water gets behind the tiles, drips down the felt, if there's an hole in the felt, the water is actually going to end up in your loft. So it's a good idea to always patch up any holes that you may find. We're now going to do that on a small hole that is just behind me. So you can see that's the actual hole just there. You can see that the felt is damaged. We're going to repair that. To repair the hole, we're going to use some flash banding. I have done another video on how to use this if you've never seen it before. So I'll cut a piece of flash banding to size and I'm going to stick that directly over the hole in the felt. This is incredibly sticky. Once you peel off the backing paper, it is like a tore finish that will virtually stick to anything. So I'm just going to press that over the hole. It's important when you do this that you do it in warm weather. You don't want to do it when it's freezing outside because it won't stick. So I've now got the flash band in stuck to the felt. I'm now going to get an heat gun and I'm going to apply some gentle heat to the flash banding that will make it melt even more and stick even better. You should avoid using any kind of blowtorch in a loft because it is an extreme fire hazard up here. You're much better off using an heat gun. I've also got a roller and I'm now going to heat that up and then I'm going to roll it over the flash banding and that will make it stick and there will be no air bubbles in there. That patch is now firmly stuck and that will stop any water from ever leaking into the loft if it does get behind the tiles. That's a quick way of repairing your roofing felt.